everyone, it's Lauren coming at you on this very autumn evening as I'm filming this new Lauren Talks for you all today. And this episode is particularly about one of my favorite holidays and it's Halloween. I don't know why I love the holiday so much. I'm like almost an adult and I just love the holiday so much. It's not even remotely funny. But um, we're going to get into my favorite past costumes, favorite candies, and my favorite kind of Halloween-ish movies, and I'll include some for those that don't particularly care for horror movies. And we're gonna go into the big Q, which is basically, what's your favorite thing about Halloween? So that will be pretty much that particular video topic today. So we're going to get into the first topic, which is costumes. Now, costumes are a huge important part of Halloween, unless you're total anti-Halloween and don't really believe in it. That I understand. But as a kid, I just loved dressing up. It was just like one of my things. So when I was younger, I could never figure out what to wear, so I would be a witch. That one wasn't my particular favorite, but some favorites I did like. I was a hippie one year. <laughs> I did Magenta from Rocky Horror Picture Show, which was one of my favorites. I do have a picture of that I'll probably insert. And so really liked my pink lady costume I did when I was real young. My sister was also Dorothy. That I have a picture. And what else I'm trying to take here? Oh, I was a vampire one year or two. That was a fun costume because I got to chase my cousin around the yard because she was um, Sharpay from High School Musical, which I could not stay in that series at the time. So those are some, just some of my particular favorite kinds of costumes. And the next thing is candies. And me, I don't have a terrible sweet tooth. I have a more salty kind of tooth here. But if I had to pick any candies, it would be... Laffy Taffy, um, three, three Musketeers, and Kit Kats, and Reese's. Anything Reese's I like really like. Because as a kid, I don't know if anybody will remember this, but as a kid I used to love these things called Reese's Inside Outs. Basically where it was peanut butter on the outside and chocolate on the inside. They no longer make them, which is sad because those things didn't really come back out on the market. But they do have a dupe that I believe Target sells called... Reese's pumpkins, which is basically just peanut butter and the, it's just peanut. It's just like a peanut butter shaped pumpkin with a or it looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm having a hard time explaining myself, but um, yeah. So, so some of my favorite Halloween movies, I'll list very many. Um, there are a few I've seen that are scary and not recommended for young kids, but um, there's seen there are some that I've seen. In, you know, I really liked and that are appropriate for kids. So the first one, probably of the non kid friendly ones, um, I've seen the original Friday the 13th, which I really, really like, even though it's kind of violent and, you know, violence is not my cup of tea, but I do enjoy watching that particular movie when it's around this time of season. I also really like the original Dracula. The original Night of the Living Dead because they were filmed in black and white and I have a weird obsession with black and white photography, films, anything. It's weird. Um, I've also seen Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. I saw that with somebody. I don't remember who it was to be honest. But I, I remember watching it on Netflix. It used to be on Netflix. It's no longer on Netflix. That was probably not one of my favorites to be honest but it did have a scary element which I loved. And then the other two I've seen thanks to my sister. <laughs> um, Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers 2. Hmm. So those are too scary for me. <laughs> and the last one is um, Insidious Chapter 3, which was a prequel to the other two. And I hadn't seen the other two, so I was kind of unfamiliar with the storyline. But it was very scary. If you've seen the ending, I was terrified. <laughs> so I'm not trying to ruin it for everyone. <laughs> And also some non, some ones that are appropriate for kids. I really, 
Oh my gosh. I really love Hocus Pocus around this time of the season. It's just one of those classic movies that everyone loves and I just can't get enough of it. It's just, oh, that's just like one of my ultimate favorites. I can't list any more. The movie's just like my favorite. Even my mom loves it. <laughs> so it's a pretty good movie. I really have been enjoying that. And The Big Q. We'll go ahead and get into it, which is a, uh, what's your favorite part about Halloween? Oh, I have many different things, but I'll list my particular favorite. I love the pumpkins, pumpkin carving, even though I really can't stand the carve the pumpkins. But I have carved pumpkins and they're pretty fun. So that's probably one of my favorite parts. And also anything that's like Halloween scented, <laughs> like they sell a Yankee Candle. Yeah, that's particularly part of one of my favorites of Halloween because as I'm filming this for you, I don't know, you probably won't see it, but I have like fall candles like literally going everywhere in my room since I'm obsessed with the freaking fall candles. I'm completely going off topic, but uh, yeah, I got the fall candle there. Let's just bring it closer. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> it does smell like autumn in here. Now it looks like I'm trying to perform a seance, which is not a good thing. Anyways, <laughs> and I'll list the candles down below if I remember. So that's pretty much everything for today's video. I know it's kind of rambly, kind of random, but you know, that's just kind of what I do here. Filming these for you guys. The big Q, what's your favorite part about Halloween? And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!